subtle difference in skin tone between two black people can create a huge division. But today we're trying to understand why and if light-skinned blacks have it easier than darker-skinned blacks. A lot of times on America's Next Top Model, the black women, in, black women excuse me, in the show, a lot of times they express insecurities about their skin tone, whether they're light, dark, or something in between. And so here to help us break down why this is such an issue are Whitney, Eugenia, Noelle, and Felicia, my girl from America's Next Top Model. Yeah. So Whitney, I'm going to start with you. Tell me when you, you um, started seeing that it was an issue for you, being brown. You know, I honestly didn't even know that skin tone was a factor until about the second grade. I was on the playground, um, playing on the merry-go-round, and somebody called me a brownie. And I was like, Mom, what, what's all that about? Mm -hmm. And she was saying, well, you know, race is a factor. And my mom is light-skinned, and I'm dark-skinned. And I'd always be like, Mom, you light-skinned it. And she would be <laughs> like, Whitney, you're not brown-skinned. I'm not light-skinned. We are all one race of people. And then tell me sometimes what people say when they compliment you. Oh, girl, you are bad for a dark-skinned girl. Meaning good. What does that mean? Meaning you beautiful. Bad meaning good, exactly. Okay. So why can't I just be beautiful? Yeah. I have a, a good friend, Kenya Moore. Do you guys know Kenya Moore? Miss, she was Miss USA. Mm -hmm. And um, she actually just wrote a book recently. And um, in her book, she talks about guys coming up to her and saying, ooh, you look so beautiful for a dark-skinned girl, for a dark-skinned girl, as if that's something bad that she has to get over. All right, Eugenia, you don't call yourself dark. What do you call yourself? No, I call myself brown skin or chocolate or something like that, because chocolate's always good, so I just, I just feel like a lot of times when people hear dark skin, they have a, like, a negative connotation mm -hmm. towards it, like they're like real black African chocolate dark, you know, and that's not like that, but people really... People really think that that's a, that's a bad yeah. thing, so I say chocolate. And I heard that you um, feel like light-skinned girls sometimes act a certain way. What do you think? Um, a lot of my light-skinned uh, friends, it, it kind of seems like they have to overcompensate for the light-skinnedness by, you know, being overly um, ethnic, I should say, or overly loud, or always talking so much slang, or this or that. And it's like, well, we know you're black, and it's okay, but you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to overdo it. Okay, so Noelle, do you think that light-skinned blacks have it easier? Um, I think in certain situations, yes, but um, actually there's a lot of disadvantages that we have that people really don't acknowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've got, you know, light brown blonde hair, I have green eyes, and as you can see, I'm not that dark. Uh, but if you I overcompensate? I do sometimes. I mean, if, if I walked up to you and I said, hi, nice to meet you, I'm Noelle, are you going to think I'm half black or, what's up, girl, how you doing, how everything going? <laughs> you're a white girl trying to act black oh uh, well i should i should let me let me quantify that african americans know m most of the time black girls can look at me and go oh she's black uh -huh. i pull, pulled that out but a, a lot of a lot of white people yes you know and that uh, when it comes down to it though i might be light skinned but i've been called the n-word just like everybody else. else by ignorant people who see my you know my nappy or frizzy hair and my big booty or whatever and they throw it out there and they throw it out there <laughs> tell me about dating for you when you date like darker skinned uh, black guys yeah, um, well, I love black men. Let me just throw it out. <laughs> uh, but I have run into situations, especially, um, especially in school and different things, where especially one instance, I had a really beautiful black brother who was, uh, and, uh, and I met him. I went home. Some reason, anyway, we got home. I met his mama. She ended up telling him that she, she would not let him date me because she did not want her son with a little white girl. You need to date a, uh, you need to date a pretty sister. You need to go ahead and date that sister. Don't date that little white girl. She, she ain't gonna do nothing for you know, your kids Even or anything Even when she else. knew that you were half black. Yeah, and he was still, yeah, he said that. He goes, well, mom, she's half black. She's still light skin. We don't need light skin in our family. Oh, wow. Oh, so right. so don't, think it's, don't think we get it easier just because we're mixed, you know. Okay. That, and so, Felicia, you are not mixed, but people think you are, right? People yeah. think you're black and white. I've, I've gotten, are you Ethiopian? Are you half Dominican? Is your mom white? Yeah. Are you, you have Native American in you? I'm like, no. Um, Eugenia, tell me about modeling. Let's get to the whole modeling thing um, with you being a darker-skinned black woman on the runway. How is it? Um, well, on the runway, most of the time when I'm doing a, a show, I'm usually the only dark-skinned black person in the whole, you know, show. And, there's usually the light-skinned girls there, mm -hmm. um, but for me, it seems like there has to be a need for me because I stand out. It's like, do, you, do we need a black girl in our show? Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, you know, however it comes, you know? <laughs> and what about you, Felicia, with modeling now? Do you feel there's an advantage with your skin color? Um, 
It is mm -hmm. a big advantage, honestly, and I feel bad to say it, but that's just how it is. That's just the world. I don't condone it. I don't agree with it, but... We're just talking about the truth today. You know. We're not talking about your opinion necessarily right now. It's just the truth. Well, you know? yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. very true. Like, well, the interesting thing with the, with the modeling industry, you guys, is... If you look at like high fashion vogue, hard fashion, hard fashion, hard fashion, hard fashion, hard fashion industry really loves like purity when it comes to race. And so they want it to be like, you know, the most pure of that. If you look at a West West and there's girls like Claire, there's these girls that have very, very dark skin. And then you get to more of the commercial world um, where, you know, there's fashion shows maybe for names that we've heard of. I'm not going to say the names of the designers um, in the States. More commercial designers, you know, ones you see in Macy's, maybe those type of designers. And, um, They'll use lighter skin models, or ads um, use lighter skin models. So, it, and, but the difference is, high fashion doesn't pay as much. So again, that darker skin woman, she might get in these high fashion magazines. She's not bringing home the money that a light skin girl would bring. Um, and then we have to take a break. But I just want to say, I don't know if people have noticed that every season of America's Next Top Model, there is a very strong representation of different shades of dark skin women. And I make it a point. Yes. sisters of the caramel complexion or whatever you know that's that's my color but I feel like that is represented and I do have that on the show most definitely and we have beautiful biracial girls like Noel but um it I make it a point every single year because it is so important because that show is entertainment but it's also telling young little girls watching it that they are beautiful so I have girls with short hair I don't give everybody a long hair we we cut hair short we do wide noses we do full lips it is so important. It's actually one of my missions in life to expand this, what beauty is in the black community. We'll be right back. Are you teasing your family because you're fat? Or are you embarrassed because they're all fat and you're thin? If your weight causes family conflict, call one 888 easier. A lot of people don't know this, but in the black community, some people check black infants' ear tips. The very tips of their ears. After, okay, our audience knows about this. After the baby is born, the whole family runs to the crib and looks at the ear. And because a lot of black babies are born a lot lighter than they're going to be as they age. So the tip of that ear is really kind of the color that the baby is going to be in their adult life. I used to look at this picture of me when I was little. Child was so yellow. I was really, really, really light. And my mom was like, oh my gosh, did I give birth to a little white baby? <laughs> and, um, and I had gray eyes, like really piercing, really light gray eyes. Can't really see it there, but they were really gray. But then my whole family looked at the tip of the ears and said, oh, okay, she's going to have some color. She's going to have some, some color. And a lot of women in the black community, they talk about the ear tip test. They joke about it. They even bond over it. And it leads us to wonder, how do black women connect with other black women in different times? based on their skin tone, okay? The connection with black women, okay? We've assembled a cross-section of men and women of all ages and from all walks of life to help us get to the heart of this matter. Um, Selena, you are here with us today. And um, do you feel that you get treated um, from black women differently, darker skinned black women, because you're so light? I, I think it was definitely a lot more when I was in high school, but yes, absolutely. I think that, and some other people have, have talked about it, you asked the audience, do they think that light-skinned women think that they're better than dark-skinned women? And I feel like that has definitely been my experience. I've had girls say to me, you are not that cute, as if I said that I was. Yes, I do. Uh-oh, I hear people laughing. Um, what about who you gravitate towards? Who do you gravitate towards in terms of skin color with black women? I think that when I see light-skinned people, I think that they have similar experiences to me. But what's really interesting is that my sister is much darker than me. Mm -hmm. And so it's been something that I've tried to make sure that I consciously work through. Um, okay. But it's so you gravitate toward lighter skinned women, but you have a sister that's darker. Stand on yeah. Stacia. So you guys are sisters. How do you, how do you feel, Stacia? Um, the whole audience is like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the audience's reaction, is that the story of your life? Basically. Basically. Okay. Yeah. So um, how was it growing up with a sister that was so light? At times it was really hard because mm -hmm. she was lighter, so I felt like the family favored her more. And she went through modeling, and I was just the one who always had to sit there and watch her grow up and do so many great things. And it's just hard because now, as the audience reaction, when people, when we get introduced, people are like, oh, that's my sister. And they're just like, so you're adopted? And I'm like, no. It's just we have the same mom, different dad. But mm -hmm. some people just don't accept that. They don't accept that. Well, guess what, girls? 
My brother is a lot darker than me, same mom, different dad. And when we meet, people are like, oh my gosh, you look so different. But again, it has to do with different fathers, but there's a lot of the times when everybody got the same mama, the same daddy, and the whole spectrum comes out of that yeah. mama. <laughs> and it's not the mailman. It really is, you know, the same genes, and it just comes out differently. Um, so your sister said she's had some pain growing up. Did you, do you know that? The thing compared to you? She right. doesn't know. Is this the first time you're saying it? We've never talked about it. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, we never really Aww. talked about it. It was, I felt like I was just always in her shadow and watching her do so many things, and I thought it was because she was lighter, she got so many more mm -hmm. chances. You said the family favored her. What types of things did you see that made sense that you thought they were favoring her? They put her through modeling school. She did a lot of things. She got, like, a great car, and she just got so many things. And it was mm -hmm. hard. Like, it was hard. That's interesting that you didn't know this, Selena. How does it feel hearing this now? In a way, it's almost a, a relief to know that she can talk to me about it now because mm -hmm. I've talked about it. Like, my therapists who are watching, they know. <laughs> you know like, you've yes. talked about it with your therapist. Absolutely. What did you say to your therapist? Which I told them about the nightmares that I would have. I've had nightmares. I have had the, the privilege that's extended beyond skin privilege but is correlated to it to go to college. I'm the first one in our family to go to college. Not mm -hmm. only did I go to college, I'm now at an Ivy League school working on my PhD, and my sister can't even find a job. <laughs> so, so for me, it's been, I won't say, I won't sit here and say that light-skinned women have it more difficult. I will not say that, but I will say that there have been emotional traumas that I've had to work through knowing that I have all of this and my sister can't even find a job. Mm -hmm. And that is difficult for our relationship. Let's just come on down and let's sit next to your sister, okay? okay. <laughs> you mind going into the audience? You go one over. Okay. All right, I'll stand behind you guys. Yep. So growing up, Seisha, I know that you would always hear that your sister, oh, your sister's so pretty. She's so, so pretty. Mm -hmm. What did that feel like hearing people say that to her and not to you? I was just always like, you tell her. You know, it was, it was hard. It was like, when is my time going to come? I'm, you know, when is somebody going to tell me I'm pretty and I can do so many things too? Mm -hmm. I know. It's just hard. Did you feel the family favoring her? Yes, we did. And the saddest thing of all is that through all of the successes that I've had through school, mm -hmm. my sister, I taught her how to read first because I'm older than her, mm -hmm. and almost instantly she was better at it than I am. Mm -hmm. She is smarter than me, and yet I'm the one who's always been seen as the smart one. Mm -hmm. And that, I see that, mm -hmm. and I know, I know that it's, it's unfair. Any audience members have siblings that are lighter or darker and want to speak about that? What's your name? My name's Kim. So, Kim, do you have a sister or a brother that's lighter or darker? Well, um, there's 12 of us all together. I'm the darkest one out of all 12. When I was younger, I wanted to be more like my older sisters and my older brother because they were really light. But as I got older, I started to cope with it and get better at it and just understand more. Mm -hmm. And I did that. Like, I, I have a little problem with one of my brothers because he does tell me that He'll tell me that he doesn't like dark-skinned people because they're this and they're that. And I said, but I'm dark-skinned. And he's like, yeah, but you're my sister. So I do. So I, it makes I it okay that, that you're his sister, that but if you sister. weren't, you would be I'll probably be thing. like one of the other people. He'll just complain about me also. Okay. We have to take a break. We'll be right back. Discussing, do light-skinned black people have it easier? Here to help is a panel that represents people of all different points of view. Um, first, let's start with a uh, violin. Um, we're now talking about the connection of between black women and sisterhood and friendship. Right. So, uh, how would you feel? How do you feel um, about light-skinned women in terms of friendship? Well, it's always been like I'm not even gonna lie. I'm standoffish um, at times towards light-skinned women. I feel they sometimes feel as though they're better than dark-skinned women. Mm -hmm. And I always got the vibe when I walked in the door and it was a crowd of light-skinned women that they looked at me as though I was beneath them. So Can you think of specific, something specific, maybe at work or school? Um, when I was in school, when I was younger, I was called many names. 
they always looked at my skin color as mud, black, dirty. It was always that. It's only when I grew up, it started to become more like beautiful and chocolate. Then st things started to change, mm -hmm. but I got teased numerous times when I was younger. It was hard. Okay, and Tamara? Tamara, how do you feel um, in terms of skin color? Uh, the lack of other black women. I think light-skinned women are better than dark-skinned women. Um, <laughs> my experiences of growing up, um, I, oh, I had always had long hair down my back, and the dark-skinned women, they, they didn't like me because I had long hair down my back. My features were nice. They didn't like that. So even as me being a teenager, they still didn't. So I just, okay. I stay so with the light-skinned women. Define when you say um, your, your features were nice. You said your features were nice. What is yes, that? I don't have big lips, big nose, nappy hair. Okay. Um, you tried to be friends with darker skin. You have tried to be friends with darker skin black women? Yes, but they, it's like they're jealous of me. They didn't like me. I tried to be friends with them. They didn't like me. Even as in their relationships, if they're around their boyfriends and I'm around them, they want their boyfriends to hurry up and go. They want me to leave because they think that I'm going to try to take their men from them. But that's not even the case. Who has something to say? Okay, and let me tell you something. Um, I feel very disgusted by what you're saying. Okay, Sam? Number one, I'm dark skinned. For number one, I'm I'm dark skinned and I don't have a big nose, as everyone can see. So that's a misconception. And number two, sweetie, Holly Berry is the same complexion as you, and you don't look better than her. <laughs> because you must have issues within yourself. I am a beautiful, beautiful, dark-skinned woman. And I, I just really feel sorry for you that you have to come on stage and play down someone else to make yourself look good because beauty is not working for you. It's not working for you, okay? Do you know that the, the history of why you feel the way yes. that you feel? What is the history? Dark-skinned females never treated me right. No. They I'm never talking, treated I'm me. About, I'm not talking about five years ago. I'm talking about 200 years ago. With slaves? Okay. Do you understand I why understand you feel the way that, you feel? I understand that, and I still feel the way I feel. Do you understand that you're that white master's dream right now? I still feel the way I feel. That you are his dream? <laughs> Do you understand that they separated us back then by skin yes, color I to create you? To make us separate, to make us weak. I do, Tyra. I understand. Okay, well then you are the white master slaves of representation. But at the end of the day, that's not something to be proud of. That's not something to be proud of. And a lot of the times when people, I think there is a self-esteem issue because when people don't feel good enough, they have to put somebody else down to make them feel bigger. Different skin tones can create as heated a controversy as the issue of racism itself. Didn't that last act? It got very heated in here. Okay, well, at first we've heard how women relate to each other based on skin tone, but now let's find out how men and women relate to each other. Black, mm, black men and black women. Um, I know Tamara says she does not want her son to date dark-skinned women. Um, so... So tell me, tell me the, the whole dating thing and what you do, what you tell your son, and why you do not want him to date dark-skinned women, Tamara. Well, I don't want him to date dark-skinned women because I don't want him bringing me home no dark-skinned baby, grandbaby. <laughs> Number one. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. How old are you? Twelve. You're twelve years old. So how do you feel when your mom tells you not to date dark-skinned girls and not to bring that home because she doesn't want dark-skinned babies? I hate it because it's not... I hate it because it sounds like she's coming off being prejudiced. And, and I like, um, I'm attracted to all women and different. Twelve years old! So there are dark 
two girls at school or like on the street and you might say she's cute and mama doesn't like that yeah so it's interesting that he's your offspring and he is totally not on this path that you are on and what does that make you feel like as his mother that he is not listening to what you're saying well i try to teach him if he doesn't follow it then what can i do you know well and when he's as he's in my house now he's not going to bring me home no darky female when he gets out of my house i guess he's going to do whatever he wants to do so would you rather have him bring home a light-skinned bitchy girl or a dark-skinned nice girl i'd rather him bring home anything besides a dark-skinned black female <laughs> my show and she talked about how much she hated black women and she was black and she said that she wasn't black and she was darker than me and she was black but anyway um she we found out later she came to the show again and we found out that she was abused by a, a black woman a brown-skinned black woman in her family that locked her in a closet and would say negative awful things to her and that developed this hate for black women and to separate herself from that. Have you had anything in your childhood from a dark-skinned black woman that no, happened? Nobody in my family that's dark-skinned or that I encounter with that's dark-skinned abusing me. What I was trying to tell y'all, I have was, I was friends with dark-skinned people. Me being in elementary school, junior high school, high well, school. what happened? I Something happened. They treated we, me, Tyra disrespectfully and bad because I wasn't dark like them or I was light like but them. But do you understand why? Do you understand why? No, that I they don't were understand probably why they well, I'm going to school like you that. right now. And I'm, I'm going to school you right now. And this is not my story, but it is my story because I'm a black woman. So I feel the pain of a dark-skinned black woman even though that's not my path. The reason why they treated you like that is because they were hurting so bad because so many people treated them bad. So many people said, you're dark, you're ugly, your hair is nappy, your lips are this, your nose is this, and you're disgusting. So when people hurt, they lash out. You're hurt, so you're lashing out. Do you understand what that is? You cannot, you cannot blame somebody that is so hurt for years ingrained in our community lashing out at you for that so yes you were pained but you are getting a lot of reaping a lot of benefits because of that they need to understand that all hour we've explored whether light-skinned black people have it easier now it's time to find out what skin tone we look for in the opposite sex Let's go to the guys on the panel. Damon, so what do you like, what do you prefer? Dark-skinned women, light-skinned women, in terms of um, black women? Really, I prefer uh, dark-skinned women. I find them, I find them uh, more, easier, more easier to approach. And, uh, <laughs> Like, um, to me, like, light-skinned women seem more conceited, so I usually, I usually, like, find myself attracted to more darker women. Like, yeah. Let's go to Jazz. Jazz, what do you prefer? Um, I prefer to date light-skinned females. Really? That's, okay, that's, me. that's what I mostly dated growing up. Okay, and why do you prefer light-skinned? I just like girls with, like, long hair and, you know... <laughs> I didn't come on the show to bash no dark skinned girls. I didn't come on the show to bash nobody. But growing up, I preferably just like light skinned chicks. I don't know why. I, I just like. You just like light. You know, I like, you I like the all the stuck up thing. attitudes and all that. So, so you say it's a hair thing, and then there's hair weaves, and just so you say that you like just mixed. Say skin complexion. No, but you just said long hair. Yeah, long hair too. The skin but complexion. But we can, you know, there's a lot of brown skinned sisters with long hair, real and fake, See, in the audience. So just explain. Me being from California, like it's it's that's all you really see is light skinned girls. Okay. So um violin. Now I'll, I'll hear y'all looking good. Y'all looking good out here. Violin. So how do you feel about what he said? <laughs> yeah. I know you said yeah, Tupac are. said something that you really connect to. What did Tupac say? The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. <laughs> okay. We're what here. type of guys approach you? 
But crazy like, enough, I get approached by light skinned guys. You get approached by light skinned guys. I don't know what it is. <laughs> We taking them over one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's, it's mostly light skinned guys, and I don't know if it's because the dark skinned guys feel as though two black people won't look cute together. Two dark skinned <laughs> people won't look cute together. Or we're gonna make dark babies, but I mostly get lighter guys that approach me. Yeah. It's cool, but I don't have a preference. I I don't look at skin color. I'm looking at what you can do for me and how deep your pockets is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when we when we went to uh, Damon, um, I thought you were gonna say that you liked light skin, and I thought you Jazz, I thought you were gonna say you like dark skin. Because I noticed like a lot of light skin guys, they want some chocolate, yes. like you know. I do notice that, and I notice a lot of darker skin guys want some yellow or something on their arm. So I find it interesting that you guys are like sticking to your 